Holiday season is here, and so is Christmas shopping time. As Black Friday approaches, it's important to know who you are shopping for. This time of year, for children with autism and sensory sensitivities, it can be difficult. Beth Browderbush with Hope Bridge Autism Therapy Center joins us on Daybreak. Good morning. Thank you. Good morning. Yes. Yeah, so why is it important to uh, be mindful of your holiday shopping, to be inclusive of everyone? So the you know autism prevalence continues to increase. Um, currently, we're at one in every 36 children is diagnosed with autism. So uh, the chances that we're shopping for someone on the autism spectrum has definitely increased, and we all probably have someone on our shopping list that falls into that category. Sure. So when you go to the store, what should you consider? So the, the biggest thing is communicating with that caregiver. Um, what are those child's interests? What are their needs? You know, some kiddos are very sensory seeking while others are wanting to avoid that. So finding out what they could benefit from is the best first step. Okay, now what's the next step? So the next step would be, you know, taking into consideration all of your options that we have here. Yes. Um, so there's a lot of different toys that are available. You definitely don't have to break the bank. Okay. Um, and also consider shopping secondhand. Um, don't necessarily need to do brand new items. Uh, so there's really options available for every type of shopper. Great ideas. Can you tell us about some of the toys and the gifts that you brought? Yeah, yeah. So um, we have this power tool play set here. So this is great for creativity. Um, this also has a lot of like cause and effect things on okay. it. It's got some buttons that um, make some noises. So that's really great for that pretend play. Um, we have this good night moon yes. game. Um, this has a lot of different ways that you can engage with it. There's options for black and white. There's options for color. Um, so just really a great way to help with some of that visual performance and, and matching. Um, and then we've got a lot of sensory things here. So depending good. on, again, what the sensory needs are of the child, um, this tissue box has just a lot of different textures. Okay. Um, so a lot of different options to interact. We've got this fidget ball, um, which my kids personally love for when they're yes. playing video games. Just fun to <laughs> squeeze, kind of throw around. Um, and I love then that. we also have a, a Peppa Pig just activity book. So okay. that's another great idea if you know of, you know, characters or, uh, you know, movies that kids are into. That's just a great way to get them interested in maybe something new. Wonderful. Now, why is it so important to be mindful of, of the toys that you buy for autistic kids? Well, I think just like any time we're giving a gift, we want to give something that that individual will really love and, and want. So, um, you know, on the spectrum, our you know needs are going to be maybe a little bit different. We might be really hyper-focused on mm -hmm. one thing. Uh, so just as we always want to give the perfect gift, finding out what that perfect gift is is just the best way to make sure that it's a really meaningful holiday season. Well, you taught us so much, Beth. Thank you so much. From Hope Bridge.